knock knock theater with their game crop team stuff. Quack. Quack. <laughs> so funny. So I hope that's the last time we'll hear that joke today. <laughs> okay, so welcome back to Math 12. Um, today we're going to take a look at, you know, of all the things that you could go from calculus AP back to Math 12, um, it's counting. Like how simple is like one, two, three, four, five? So you're actually going to get a test on counting. So um, counting is, uh, I've got a poster back there. It's a really corny one. It says there are three types of mathematicians, those who can count and those who can't. Uh, is that better than the interrupting duck? No, yeah. no, my joke is better. <laughs> okay, interrupting duck, always better. So um, basically we're going to take a look at techniques for counting because there are some things, you know, obviously, uh, you know, if you have more than 20 things, you run out of fingers and toes. So you need to come up with another way of counting. Um, some problems get so big so quickly, they look deceptively simple, but to actually do it by hand and go one, two, three, uh, the problem is so enormous that it's not practical. So that's what we're going to look at is techniques for counting the number of items given some conditions on it. So we're going to start um, with an example of the best cafeteria ever. Um, it has two sandwiches, it has three drinks, and two desserts. So you better get there early, otherwise you might uh, run out. Um, here's what we've got. Okay, we've got either egg or ham sandwich, milk, juice, or coffee, and pie or yogurt for dessert. So <coughs> what the question is going to be is how many different menus can you pick if you get one thing from here, one thing from here, and one thing from here. Okay? So um, <coughs> we're going to do uh, one technique that we'll use in this unit and in probability is to make a tree diagram. So I'm going to walk you through the tree diagram, how we could model this problem. Now, you're going to see today that the techniques are so simple. It's just so easy. You're going to be bored by how easy counting technique is. But the technique in counting isn't really the hard part. The hard part is being able to um, digest or interpret the word problem and figure out how to use the technique. So first of all, let's just start by modeling it out. Okay, so we got a tree diagram to figure out the meals. So everything you do in, in this unit, you're going to want to... Uh, actually envision it happening to help you out. So here we are, we're sitting in the cafeteria, we've got a tray, we slide the tray up, and now we're standing in front of the sandwiches. Okay, so um, let's see here, how many people would pick an egg sandwich? I hope you have breath mints after, but uh, everybody else wants ham, I guess? Yeah. Most people, oh, oh yeah. neither? <laughs> Everybody's going to TNT. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so here we are, we get a choice of either or a ham sandwich. And this is modeling one of the two choices I could have made once I got to the cafeteria. And okay, then I take my tray and I slide it along a little further and I end up at the drinks. So no matter what I took in the first set of choices, I could have had one of three possible drinks. So it was either milk, juice, or coffee. Milk, juice, or coffee. Okay, and then finally I slide my tray down to the very end and I get to pick a dessert. Nothing like yogurt for dessert. So it's either yogurt or pie that I pick from each of these final decisions here. So yogurt, pie, yogurt, pie, yogurt, pie, yogurt, pie. Okay, so this is a tree diagram that shows every possible meal that we could make. So let me show you. We're gonna make a class meal here. So Teresa, egg or ham sandwich. Egg sandwich. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, there we are. Uh, Joy, coffee, jam, or milk? Jam. Uh, <laughs> juice. I mean, coffee, juice, or milk. Sorry, yeah. Juice. Well, if you really want to have sm smelly breath, you could have an egg sandwich and a coffee. But uh, I guess we'll go with juice. Okay, and uh, Kevin, what would you pick? Yogurt or pie? Pie. Okay, there we are. So where we've just ended up, this is our class's lunch for uh, tomorrow. It's going to be an egg sandwich, juice, and pie. So uh, any possible combination you've come up with is represented by one of these uh, branches at the bottom here. Uh, for example, this one would be a ham sandwich, a glass of milk, and yogurt. So that would be the uh, lunch you'd run across there based on this diagram. So any questions so far about how the tree diagram models the, pro uh, the counting? So how many lunches are there? A lot. A lot, yes. 
but it's not so bad that we can't use our fingers and toes. Twelve, yeah, there's twelve lunches. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The branches there show me how many there are because every possible lunch is represented by one of the branches. Okay. Now, the question is, can we figure out that there were 12 lunches without having to do all of these branches of 